Okay. I think now we're streaming. Hopefully. Sure, Steve, sure. Oh, I thought come up. I see it go live. I see it too. Did you put the link for Scoodles and Schoolmark in the bottom? Already? It, yes, I think so. Is it the old one or is it the new one? It's the new one. It should be. I'm checking. But this is a new thing. Yes, it is the new one. Like so many things, it's still in beta. <laughs> it will forever be in beta. It will That's how we can make excuses for, for all of it. Asteroxo's on! So you made it home safely. Hi, Asteroxo! Evan George is here. Oh, it's Monty. Hi, Monty. Monty, I probably will just say the word that's on the screen. That's how I, that's the same for everyone, is I will just say the word on the screen, so I'm sorry if I don't. But it's good to know. Hi, Monty! Well, then people know who you're referring to if you're talking specifically in the chat, so. Yeah, and, and I do sometimes call people like Robert the 55th or Robert the Viking when they aren't that in the chat, but... If Robert the 55th is on, yes, all of his yeah. altars is, are, are all done and ready. They were all done and if we're in the biggest bunch. Yes. Scott Slosh is on. Sloth is on. He didn't realize it was Tuesday. It is Tuesday! Asteroxa says I'm still tired. So am I. <laughs> You and me both, pal. Nika drove us home yesterday, and I just couldn't even stay conscious for like any of the drive. Steve, I I am Steve. noticing that there is some disadvantage to having a car that practically drives itself and is super comfortable, and that is that it you do get a little bit like bored and drowsy easier. I mean, not so much that I was like I should pull over and stuff, but it's like. You're, you're, you're not so constantly focused on something yeah. that it seems like if you were driving in the middle of the night, it would be easy to fall asleep at the wheel if you were super tired. That is, that is somewhat concerning. In the middle of the day in the desert, not so much, but I was like, yeah, this is doing oh, so God, much for me. Cabby boy. Uh, hi, Cabby. All right, guys. Um, welcome, welcome. We're trying out the... Um, YouTube live for our chat tonight. So if you look at the bottom of the video screen, it says to chat with us live, come to youtube.com slash user slash, and this is spelled out, not not actual, it's steveargyle.com. Not a period, but actually the word dot spelled out. Yes, when I set up my YouTube page, which, I mean, it's been eight years or so, so I don't know if this is still the case, but when I set it up. Uh, Steve Argyle was already taken, and so were a handful of permutations. And I think it was just by squatters, um, because if I look up Steve Argyle YouTube, this is the only thing that comes up. Hmm. But maybe um, Eric the face says hello. Um, have fun. Hello. So, anyway, that's where we'll be chatting tonight, though we are streaming still to Facebook and to... Are you also streaming to Twitch? Steve? Yes, I'm... We found that Twitch, Twitch kept having Facebook. technical problems. It wasn't streaming well. And Facebook isn't a chat engine, so that is why we are chatting on YouTube. Um, so that's the first thing. Second thing is Steve has a website. It's steveargyle.com. Come and check it out. Um, and Steve's next show coming up very soon, Steve, is? Uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yes. And I'm not sure if I'm going to Sao Paulo. I want to. Steve is. But, uh, I didn't buy tickets in time, and so they're obscenely expensive right now. Like, Two weeks ago, they were twenty nine hundred dollars, 
and then they were at 2700 all last week and they went down to 25 today and so if they go down more uh, um, I mean I have the time off up until about two days before I can still just decide to go but they were so expensive yeah um, I mean international flights are usually expensive but that's expensive. It's like really expensive. Like, we they, it was a thousand dollars more than what we expected to pay for an international flight. Yeah. So. Um, and we've been, like, I got I got my tickets anyway, just because. Uh, He's got need, to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. So. Um, but we've been oh, watching we got it for a few they months. Went way up. Hmm? We 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 got mine. Well, that was still a few months ago, and yeah. they were they're still pretty expensive. Yeah. They were still expensive enough that... I didn't buy mine yeah. at the same time he bought his, because they were too expensive. Um, the link for the Scoodle and the Squamwork is in the, what do you call that, banner? The thingy-majig? In the, in, in the doodly-doo? Doodly-doo, doodly yeah. The link for your Squamwork and Scoodle is in the doodly-doo. Keeson is not home, and we'll have no sound, but Keeson's on too. Awesome. We had so much support from Sketch and Scotch and Minions as a whole. There were so many Minions and, and Sketch and Scotchers at Vegas, guys. We appreciate it so much. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm, 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 a, I'm a drinking a present from a Sketch and Scotcher. Got a lovely bottle of Lafroig. Mm hmm. Which is a, a, a marvelous Isle Scotch. Uh, one of my favorites. Tappy Joe's and Keeson finally made it. They think they were talking to, to themselves in the Twitch chat. And uh, we also got some macadamia nuts, some plum liqueur from Japan. Um, I got some some nice sketches from people. Like people were just super nice. Got all kinds of. Got to hang out with all of our friends. People were bringing me Mountain Dew. Like I was pampered. Was, you guys are awesome. Tappy is um also still dead from Vegas. <laughs> um. Oh, it's, that's it's gotta the be next hard one. to do a show like that in cosplay for four days. Um, I do want to call out the other stuff. Um, Team Ogre Panda. Yeah. They sketch and scotchers. Totally came and helped us out the whole weekend along with Lee. And kicked ass. They, if you see someone helping behind my table, they're amazeballs. And then we also had um, Anthony, Travis, Kirk, and Scott help with put up and take down. We wouldn't have been able to do it without them. <laughs> yeah. Because we accidentally, we got to to Vegas 20 minutes after they closed the floor that night, the night before to drop off our stuff. And then they told us that the place where packages are delivered at the hotel was closed at seven. Although when I went to pick up the packages the next morning, they're like, oh, the bellhops can get in here whenever they want. You just have to ask. So that was frustrating. Um, other GP Vegas things, I guess maybe I should give you, you're drawing adorable pictures. <laughs> I don't have a Scoodle yet. I know. What Scoodle are we going to give him, guys? Are we going to give you Vegas, Vegas theme, Steve? Silly Vegas, because everyone wanted serious Vegas doodles when we were there. I want you to do Silly Vegas theme. Silly Vegas, huh? You thought you probably would want to. Sure, sure. I... All the other ones are more serious. He did a Vegas... Um, Blood Braid Elf, but it, it fits so well. It was amazing. You guys will, if you watch my social media, you'll see it eventually. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll, mm -hmm. um, for the most part, I, I post like every single alter I do because part of it is keeping me honest, right? I don't give somebody their, their sketch or their alter or their whatever until it's good enough to post. Um, and I feel like that keeps me honest. Uh, I I'm, never, I'm never tempted to be lazy because I know everybody's gonna see this. 
Um, that's not to say that some don't turn out better than others, but I'm, <laughs> I'm doing the best I can on every single one of them. Uh, but there is a point where I wonder if I should kind of cull them down or at least group them because I did, um, I did like 120 altars for Vegas and, and, wow. and sketches that we have it. I have to think of something. That's, that's, a, that's a hard part. It's silly Vegas. Poison had another idea. Okay. I'll let you pick. Get well cards from Mike. Oh, uh, that would be sweet of us to do. We can. We Actually, can it was Evan it. that had the idea, and Poison is backing it up. Which good. was going to lead me to my next thing, but. Um, before we get to the, well, I guess who yeah. knows who who knows some of Wedge's favorite things, and uh, and I'll take a cue from that, and maybe we'll just do that for the whole episode as a nice nice get picture well for something Wedge. for Wedge. Suggest so things for Wedge, guys. Wedge has actually been on sketch. He's a sketch yeah, and scotch. Yeah, just a couple weeks ago, he was on. He's on, he's on the show. So maybe if he's bored in a hospital room right now, you can watch sketch and scotch with us. That'd be the coolest thing ever is if he hopped onto Facebook or whatever and just thought, I'll see what the stream is doing. And we're all doing a, a nice little thing for him. So I'm going to, well. yeah, let's do the get well cards for Wedge. People are wondering who Wedge is. So Steve, ah. tell people who Wedge is. Wedge is, um, Wedge is a YouTube um, content creator who does a lot of Magic the Gathering stuff. Um, <clears throat> you He's may a also big know part him of the as, Magic community. Yeah, you may also know him as the Mana Source. Um... And he uh, he was having some some back pain, and when he uh, when he flew over, it was, was getting worse gonna and worse. He's going to be a guest at Vegas. Mm -hmm, he's going to be a guest. Um, and when he during the flight, it was getting really bad, and when he landed, it was really bad. And he was like, you know, it's probably just a weird. Uh, yeah, you know, when I walk up and get around and everything will be fine. Um, and he woke up the next morning and was paralyzed from the waist down. Like, could not walk, move his legs or anything like that. So they took him to the hospital, did a scan. In Vegas. In Vegas. And he had two herniated discs and the pressure was... You need to draw because people think you're frozen. Oh, yes. Um, anybody have good suggestions? So, Tappy Toes, can you, Tappy is going to actually poke Abby and tell him to, we're going to surprise um, Wedge at the end of the stream by giving him our, our get well cards. Cool. But Tappy, can you, can you let us know of a favorite thing of his or anything like that? Um, I should know this, but I'm drawing a blank right now as to the best idea. On um, Mana Source. Mm -hmm. um, but, so they did an MRI and he had was it herniated discs yeah two herniated discs and um they needed emergency it surgery. was putting enough pressure on his spinal cord that it was um his symbol is a lotus is what evan just said mm -hmm. um and so they had to do emergency surgery on him and so instead of going to the gp he had surgery and um, he's a huge contributor and part of the magic community and and the the community as a whole and we, we love to support people that support the community. And so um yeah, he is the mana source on YouTube if you want to check anything out there. Um and they are having a they have a GoFundMe. GoFundMe for him because he didn't have any insurance. So it's going to cost a lot for his surgery and everything. So that's another thing is um, if you guys have even just a little bit of money, go to the GoFundMe for Wedge and um, support him. Every little bit helps. Kristen. Kristen's suggestion for what you draw is one of the worst call cards apologizing. <laughs> uh, Evan says terrible cards ripped into. We don't, yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah Evan's trying to put a link in, but it's blocked by YouTube. Um, because oh, right, you right. can't put links in the YouTube chat. Maybe mm -hmm. we can put it in a diddly do. Yes. Yes. We I'll can. find it and put it. I'll, I'll find it and send it to you. <clears throat> Tappy says honestly, what you like anything? So, that will be our drawing for today. Is get well cards for Wedge. And if you're not a magic player, it's still just get well cards for our nerd community. Someone in our community. Um, I, I love the nerd community because I think we're a good little family. Um, everyone kind of knows what it's like and, and comes together and supports each other. I love it. And during that time, I will go find a GoFundMe for Wedge. All right, I'm going to... Yeah, uh, Dan actually put it really well. Dan says he's not a Mag Magic Gathering player, but he'll draw a card because he's a fellow Sketch and Scotcher. Which is a wonderful way to think about it. And that's kind of what I mean in this whole community. We're all tied together somehow. Steve, why did you put these Starbursts on my table and eating them all? I don't know where they came from. They were in my pocket. I know where they came did, from. Did Scott sneak them in or something? Um, no. Ogre snuck them in because our drink oh. fairy stopped by and gave them to us. <laughs> <laughs> the drink fairy came by and gave you, it gave it to him, and he snuck around and put it into your, totally snuck it into your uh, pant pocket. That is impressive. Somebody put something in my pocket and I didn't notice. Either impressive or I was just that, let's say focused. Well, it was your, it was your big, it was your big, um, uh, what do you call them? Cargo pants, so it was a little easy to see. Uh, That's see. true. Oh, Wedge was just playing Pokemon and tweaking, tweeting about that. He likes Pokemon. Ooh. So there's a couple of more ideas, guys. I wonder if I should switch from what I'm doing now to another idea. You can scoot around whatever you like. Original 150. And that's all Steve really knows of the Pokemon. He doesn't know that extra special Pokemon's usually. Oh, Sean and Carrie Johnson, Carrie Johnson are on. Hey, guys. Hello. Uh, Evan's gonna put the link to the to the wedge GoFundMe in the GDoc. So if you go in the thingamadogger thingy, the doodly do, the doodly do, um, then they and click on that to go check out the Google Doc. There's also a wedge donation link there, guys. So another cool thing that happened at Vegas was that Steve and Howard Lyon got to do a live painting of Ashlyn cosplaying Blood of Braid Elf. It was pretty yes, cool. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And um, I, I will be finishing it. Um, there's only so much you can do in three hours and only so much you can do when it's wet. Um, and you probably can't really see super great from anyway that's where it's where it's at so far it's still got a ways to go but uh... yeah, and we actually live streamed most of the painting session mm -hmm. um, that's on Steve's Facebook along with Q&A and such cat was the MC Kristen had an adorable idea Steve okay what's that Planeswalker with a Pokemon, and then she thought a little more of Nyssa feeding a Bulbasaur. 
<laughs> that is pretty cute. So, those, actually, that's more ideas for everybody, because everyone's doing a get well card pledge. I can do that. What I'm, what I'm doing right now is sort of Dominaria stylish angel. Evan says that just giving more people ideas is excellent. Excellent preview card was Nezal, the blue elder dino. So there's lots of ideas for people for a game well card. For one of our own sketch and scotchers. So uh, what else? At Vegas, it was a crazy show, guys, seriously. Um, we got to go and eat again at Momofuku, which if you're not a, if you are a foodie, you probably know the name. Um, we love, um, we love Momofuku. It's a kind of a, it's not even Asian fusion anymore, really, is it? It's just delicious food. Yeah, it, um, it really wasn't what you'd call Asian fusion anymore. Because, I mean, it was like um, spicy fried chicken uh, and duck. braised duck and mint and, like... It did have, like, a little sushi, but, yeah. Uh, Taffy says, I ate twice at Momofuku. Oh, wow. We ate, we found it accidentally at last year. It had only been open for about three months. And so then we... Um, we made reservations this year and took us and and um, ten of the artists and their crew, uh, ten people total to it. So that was a lot of fun. We got to hang out with Mark Poole and Howard Lyon and uh, well, Mark Poole and his crew, which is like Jeff and me and those guys, and. Um, uh, Howard Lyon and Shari, his art pimp, and um, our awesome crew over Carla in Panda. Ortiz. And then um, Carla Ortiz and her awesome beau, uh, Joshua. Yeah. It was so fun. She got truffle ramen on Sunday, also. Whoa. Tappy knows how to party it up in Vegas. Seriously? We got ramen, it wasn't truffle ramen. But we got ramen on Sunday night, actually, also. We got there 15 minutes before they closed, and they were the sweetest ramen place ever. They totally took care of us. We took our uh, closing up crew out for some food to thank them. Killer Glove just got on and said, dude, meeting you guys in Vegas was beyond cool. Awesome. It, it was right back at you. so supportive there. Um, you guys go back and watch the live painting video um, we go through the crowd a couple times and ask who's like sketch and scotchers or minions and like half the crowd raises their hand it was <laughs> so cool guys that's amazing he made me so proud i had someone ask me today if uh, we're gonna do that at gen con and while that would be awesome gen con's trickier uh, most really. of the other it shows. Closes. Well, the problem is like having sp it, that thing is once it closes, we don't have a place to do it, and during the show, we kind of don't have the space. It's super busy and stuff. I mean, it'd be it'd be awesome. I wonder if we could ask, um, like, reach out to the Gen Con people and just ask if they could have a room. Yeah, it might work. The other thing is, um, usually the magic events are run by pastime games. Uh -huh. um, Cascade. Is it Cascade now? They did it last year? I thought. I no. No, I think it's right. Pastimes. Pastimes did it, but Cascade was there doing the other games. Um, but those guys, both both Cascade and Pastimes, are awesome. And they would, would probably give us space. Uh -huh. uh, 
I don't want to speak for them. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this until we've talked to them because because we haven't. We haven't. Uh, this is this is brand new to us, and I just and thought the of first it. First time Steve has told me about this. Yeah, I just thought of it now because I got asked earlier today. Could be very very cool. Yeah, it was fun. People seemed to like it. Well, and there's a lot of good cosplay there too. And a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. And if it was after the show closed, then it might get. Did you have to make sure they're not schedule it on the same night as the art show award? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be pretty cool. So those don't take super long. Yeah, you wouldn't want to stack it all up though. Yeah, but I mean, is if I accidentally scheduled it, it would only knock a half hour out. I see. What else happened at Vegas? A whole lot of art. Whole lot of art. And I very overscheduled. Sleep. I overscheduled Steve a lot. I uh, tried not to. It's not that she overscheduled me. It's that I'm slow. She scheduled me for a little less every day, but I still ended up being a little slower every day. Cause I, uh, the earliest I got to bed after doing all the all my homework that I'm supposed to get done before we leave. Uh, was 2.30, and most nights it was 4. Um, so I know it looks like I just pack up and go and get the heck out of there at hey, 8. Hey, is on! But it's because I just go eat and then go finish all the all the stuff. Panda's on the chat. Hi, Panda. Hi, Panda. Thank you again. They're just talking about how awesome you are. Uh-huh. Oh, you should tell them about what Panda made for you. <laughs> should I go get it? Sketch and Scott shirt. Yeah. Yes, Panda actually said you guys she will appreciate is this. willing to hook people up with the image to make their own shirt, too. I will grab it. You have to entertain people, Steve. Go. <laughs> and uh, what's related to it, Astroxo uh, got himself a pretty good altar. I think, at least. I thought it was one of the, one of the better altars of the weekend. Um, if you can't find it, I can probably find it and bring it up fairly quick. I just always feel weird like searching through stuff during the stream trying to find something. Sorry it hasn't been washed yet. <laughs> So it's wrinkly because it just came out. Okay. Panda made Steve the all of Team Argyle. No horses shirts. <laughs> they are awesome, and it even has a little party mouse holding up a sign that says that has horses crossed out. It's adorable. <laughs> that is what Panda and Ogre made us for Team Argyle. And I told Astro Astrox if he's got a picture of his altar, his related altar. So he got a horse, and I even gave it hands. <laughs> you can't put in links. Um, oh, right, right. Put, you can put the links into the, um, into the Google Doc. We have now, we have a link for column. The There's the donation for Wedge, and just put it in underneath that. It's the, and... Yeah. So no horses, even horses with hands. Jason asks if there are in that is a hands. horse. Uh, There's a unicorn. Yeah, one. there are actually. There's a unicorn. And then someone said unicorns are just horses 2.0. You might just ate all your Starbursts. What? You left them there. But now how am I going to get diabetes? How? No, that's okay. Thanks. No, uh, Eric, no, 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 you no, have no. this one. It's, it's lemon. It's from my mouth. Yeah, Like but a mama bird. 
That's why you didn't want it. Because it's lemon? Because it's lemon. No, it's the pink ones are meh. On what? I don't even know you. I ate it. Even though it was meh, Steve, I Who ate are it. you? You don't... We may need to rethink our relationship, Kat. Okay. I got the starburst. That's not, that's not the problem. You don't like the pink starburst? I didn't say I didn't like them. I said they're meh. That's the same thing. That's... Oh, it's indefensible. They are the best ones. If they had blocks of just pink starburst... Mm -hmm. Orange. No, they're, orange are good, but pink are the best. Here, we'll see. Pink are the master race of Starburst. We'll see. Oh, Astroxo agrees with you. Pink is the best. See? By the way, Amanda said she'll take me if you if you if you leave me. She's gonna take me. <laughs> and I can she'll kick Ogre out. And she'll give me all the Starbursts. Regardless of color. Astroxo says they sell a bag of all pink. They do? Yeah. Now do you see what you've done? As we have to go. <laughs> Stop the stream. Get a bag of pink starbursts. Steve, don't think of it like that. Think of it as after, what is it, 12 years, you're still learning new things about me? Yes. Oh, Evan brought up a pretty serious thing, Steve. He said, who gets the fish in the breakup? Steve. Cat will get Steve, the fish. Let's stay together for the fish. We will. Okay. Okay for the fish. No, you get the fish because they're yours. You'll get the fish because they'll live that way. <laughs> if you give me the fish, I I'm not I'm not cruel, and I know that I would not take care of them right. One day I would be but they're your fish. not paying enough attention and somebody would say, yeah, the reason your fish are dead is that you can't feed them breakfast cereal and Mountain Dew like you. And then I would feel bad. Astrox would just said that like jinxed you and said they can't have Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, um, Panda, actually let's do a, a, uh, Commercial break. commercial break. This commercial break is brought to you by, actually, something more serious this time. It's brought to you by Wedge's GoFundMe. Yeah. Um. So, uh, one of our, uh, one of the magic community, and more importantly, a fellow sketch and scotcher, had a big serious uh, medical emergency. While at while at GP Vegas and needs our support, whatever you can do, however little you can give, um, we linked it into the Google Sheet. So the link for it is the link to the link is down in the thingamabob below. And uh, if you link over to the, the Google Doc, we have a place to link over to Wedges um, Get Well, and that is also the topic of tonight's um, squomer, or scoodle. The scoodle is drawing a get well card for um, our fellow sketch and scotcher wedge. Yes. And so um, we're not timing me on the scoodle and we're gonna, I'm just gonna do that for the, for the episode so I can get a little further along. Mm-hmm. See, and Kristen actually brought up the perfect thing about how we work together, Steve, is that now that I know you like the pink starbursts and I like the orange ones, we're not going to fight over who like gets them. Team. We are. See, and Killer Glove says, whoever says yellow is the best needs a brain scan. <laughs> and Thank you. And then Janet said yellow is her favorite. What? Is it, is it like a genetic disorder with your family? Yeah, quiet. Then? He says yellow's the best. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I threw a card sleeve at you. It was one of the hard card sleeves. <laughs> That's what I had. 
the, the thing one wouldn't have flown well. <laughs> exactly. That's that's better for me. But Janet did confirm that she's crazy. That was that was never really in question. How was the river trip, by the way? Yeah. Well, me and Steve were in Vegas doing mad artwork and hanging out with all you awesome people. My whole family was river rafting. My family and Steve's dad were all river rafting together. Evan says Steve is about to start banning people for their favorite Starburst flavor. Luckily, me, Cat the more calm the hammer. one, I'm in charge of the ban hammer. Yeah. So. Cat doesn't let me have tools. I hurt myself. So. Oh, and Steve's brother also came along on the river trip, too. They said they had a job. So, anyway, that was, we didn't actually finish our commercial break. Uh, commercial break reminds you to like, love, and share with everybody the glory that is Sketch and Scotch. Uh, we, if you want to be part of the chat, we are chatting on YouTube, and that's where we're reading off of, because we are having a lot of, while we are still streaming to Twitch and Facebook, um, we are having a lot of problems with the stream on uh, Twitch. So we've got the YouTube live. If you want to get to the YouTube live, it's just in this in the bottom of the stream screen. It's uh, www.youtube.com slash user slash Steve Argyle dot written out, not the actual little punctuation, but written out, Steve Argyle dot com. Come on over. That's where we're chatting. Uh, we don't chat in Facebook because it's not a chat engine. So anyway. Plus, we can only really keep eyes on one place, so we're trying the YouTube for now. Oh. And let us know what you think of the differences. Um, like I say, Twitch is hard because it seems to have just um, it's been so problems. laggy for the last. Yeah, couple we always of times. have people telling us that it's not working, but it's not like it's not on our side. It's just some some folks are getting lag, some aren't. Yeah. Um, John Art says so. Just a generic get well card for tonight. Um, it can be generic. You can do it based off Sketch and Scotch. Um, because he is a fellow Sketch and Scotcher. So, yeah, get one card for a fellow nerd. He likes Pokemon. He likes magic. Um, so yeah. Tappy was able to get a hold of Abby. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, Tappy was asking if we have an ETA for the reveal, Steve. What reveal? Like... Showing everyone's, displaying everyone's oh, oh, cards. Oh, 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 uh, So when, she can give it to Abby. When we're going to wrap it up? Yeah. Um, we can certainly set a time. Should I we mean, say, normally the way we do sketch and scotch is we sort of doodle until we're done doodling. Should we say 9.15 is maybe when we'll start the reveal? Or the sure. review? Sure, yeah. Although we need to do the squam work before that. We can do that. We can do that. So we'll start... Squirt. We'll start doing squirt. We, we could do it backwards. I mean, we could do. It, there's no reason why we can't do that first. Okay, cool. Yeah, nine fifteen is when we'll try. And try to remind me, you guys, as we get closer. So, when I say nine fifteen, I mean thirty-five minutes from now, I believe. Plenty of time. So, if he can get on, if not, we understand he's safe. I mean, yeah, he's getting better. Well, and it'll it'll stay up on on YouTube for. Yeah, it'll stay up there. Um, Dan was saying, hearing about the GP, it makes his week seem a little better. He dropped the piano on one leg and knocked himself out, wow. of, and locked himself out of his house at one a.m. Oh, none of that sounds like a good evening. See, that's where I want to tell the story of our one minion this last weekend. He had, Vegas was bound and determined to take everything from him this weekend. Yeah. 
Yep. Kelly Glove says that the stream on Facebook is good. Yeah, the stream on Facebook's always been good. It's just not a chat engine for us to chat back Yeah, the, the reason we don't do Facebook is because we don't, while I'm streaming, we don't see the comments. Um, and when I close the stream, they just, it just populates with all of them all of the sudden. Um, I don't know if that's a common problem or, if, or what, because I know other people will stream and chat at the same time. But for us, we don't actually, it, it doesn't work well to interact because we can't see what you're saying. Um, and it might just be a setting that I need to find. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Quiet says that YouTube streams awesome on her phone, which Twitch never did. That's good. That's good. Um, Kirk is asking again what the, um, what the sketch is. The sketch is a get well card for Wedge from the Magic community and also from our Sketch and Scotch community. Uh, he likes Pokemon and magic and I think just all over nerdery and if he if he likes those things I'm sure he is into normal nerd nerd curriculum so a get well card so that is that um Oh, I was going to tell you guys the story of what happened to our one minion in Vegas. Maybe it'll help Dan feel better, I don't know. One of our minions in Vegas, uh, he lost his phone, his credit card, and his ID. Before that happened, he made poor life choices and found a place that did um, bottomless, drinks. bottomless drinks for 25 bucks. Throughout the weekend, parts of the that night kept coming back to him, like getting escorted out of the Westgate by the police. He lost his dice bag. He lost so many things. I kept joking that basically Vegas was going to take everything from him. He's going to go home with his shorts and that's it. He wears glasses, so I kept teasing him that he should wear, um, he should put the little gator holders on his glasses so they didn't lose those too. Oh, he's on. Oh. Kurt, did you find out if there's anything else you were missing? Because, yeah, Kurt, yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, I think he had, every time he showed up, he had another story about what Vegas took from him. What was the other one that he came up with? There was another one he walked up and told us about. It was, it, it took everything. His soul is what he just said. <laughs> um, it was, I think it's probably good though for his, for, for his longevity in life that it took his ID so early on so that he couldn't continue to do Bottomless drinks for twenty-five dollars. <laughs> it did something. It took, he, there was something else too. He came up the last day and told us something else that had gotten lost. I don't remember what was it. But yes, there, there came, was continually craziness ensuing. Uh, what else? There, there was a lot that happened. Now that I'm thinking back on it, there was a lot that happened in Vegas, even though we even were... Even though mostly we were seeing the inside of the convention center and a hotel room, and the, the uh, bloodshot eyelids of my eyelids. <laughs> Sorry, this is unscripted. I apologize for nothing. I'm here to draw, not words. Oh, also, he was trying to get back in his hotel room, but he couldn't work the door. And so he's pounding on the door at 1 a.m. and woke up with his roomie. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was the icing on the cake. They were sitting there doing altars the last day. And he, Scott asked for a marker back from him, and it was just gone. Like... They looked all around the table, everything. The, the marker he was using and borrowing from Scott, 
like icing on the cake, it just disappeared. Did I steal it? I do that sometimes. No, they were down at a table below. They weren't in your area. Okay. It's good to know. Panda <laughs> said Vegas is, Vegas is a terrible mistress. She is fickle. She is like Lady Luck. And this weekend, Kirk was her bitch. <laughs> but it made for a funny story for all the rest of us. Oh no! Jonathan Lau says Joseph Meehan got his artist proof folder stolen on Friday. Oh. That sucks. That really sucks. Yeah. I hate when I hear that stuff like that happens. Yeah, and it's weird to me that that, that sort of stuff does happen because um, proofs mostly have value as a as a souvenir, as a collectible. It's not like you can take those to a pawn shop. Um, and most collectors don't want them if they're not direct from the artist. Yeah. Um, so it, it seems weird that people would steal artist proofs. Yeah. In the first it makes place. Sad. As a whole, most 99% of the artists, their magic players are awesome and they totally respect their artists and love them. The problem is, is when you have a show that has 5,000 people in it. <laughs> And You're going to get 0.001% assholes, and that's enough that and, they will be there. Yep. But Magic players as a whole are awesome people. They're so great. Yeah. Well, and, like, sometimes they're going to have more ramifications than others. Like, you may, if you guys go to a lot of Magic events, you may notice you've never seen Winona Nielsen, right? She got her proof binder stolen, like, the first or second GP she ever did. Mm -hmm. And so she was just done. She's like, yeah, no, I'm not. I partially wonder if, like, if some people were in line, like, when I when I give out the artist proof binder, I threaten people's lives when I hand it to them. She does. She does. Yeah, Keeson says, Joe's a very nice guy and cool, too. His first GP ever was Vancouver 2017. Oh. Panda has a story about Vegas being a harsh, harsh mistress. Um, it says, Panda says the last Vegas trip she went on, she lost $500 in gambling, spent twenty or $1,200 on strippers and threw up in the middle of a Denny's. <laughs> Sounds par for the course. Yeah, when I hand people the uh, the artist proof binder, I always say, "I'm just and, and just to start some conversation, you know, back and forth. I'm very good at hurdles and a hundred meter dash, but I'm pretty good at long distance running too. So, I mean, just just passing conversation." <laughs> Did you see the YouTube video where the girl tackles a cheetah at full gate? That was me. <laughs> pretty much. Also, I ate that cheat and it was delicious. <laughs> Evan says, uh, I mean, Steve is creatively crazy, like Robin Williams and um, Hideo uh, Kojima. And Kat is scary crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've never been compared to Robin Williams. He's awesome. <laughs> Killer Glove says, the only time I've ever been scared of Kat is when someone tried to hand her a gold marker. It wasn't even me, and I was scared. I think they were talking about when I got pissed because... Oh, because somebody had had uh, borrowed it from a... Or... No, they told an artist that we needed markers. Kisa says he's always scared of me. <laughs> and Panda says we all should be. Um, so, they had the most gorgeous playmats at this show. Beautiful playmats. That the artists hated. Get into that. Sorry. It's just I'm all the black thunder. with a very simplistic graphic treatment of um, a lotus in the middle, and it says uh, it says like four Vegas or four GPs that it'll be at. They also did foil ones of them where they embossed. Those the, are the, super um, pretty. Lotus with like so it's shiny silver. They were so pretty. They, they are great and gorgeous and beautiful. The problem is, and most, a lot of you guys know, 
Um, say it over and over again. Steve only signs playmats in black marker, black sharpie. It ruins your ma your markers to do gold. Uh, gold pens are basically just gold or whatever metallic leaf in suspended in a fluid. And if you try to write on a play mat or a shirt or any sort of fabric, it just sucks out all of the solution and then leaves the leaf right on top. So number one, it rubs off your play mat. So we want to give you guys a good product that lasts, uh, try to make it last as a long time. I've seen Sharpies rub off too, but it takes a lot longer. But we want to try to give you guys a product that will stay for a long time. Uh, but... Uh, it also ruins your marker. You can do about five play mats before the marker's dead. And so we don't want to ruin Steve's play mats. So, uh, yeah. Yes. He had to start telling people that Steve would not, um, you know, Steve wasn't signing in gold. He signs in black. So someone went to one of the artists and asked for them to give Steve a gold sharpie so Steve would sign in gold. And one of the artists, he told that told the, he told him that Steve didn't have a gold sharpie and he needed one, is what they told the other artist. So this artist comes out, we're totally trying to help us out and be the sweetest person ever. We're like, we have gold markers, we're fine. It's like, oh, someone was telling me he was totally out and he needed them. So, I was a bit irate that someone did that to one of the artists. A little grumpy. So the way that the the paint markers work, whether they're the Sharpies or the, the deco color or whatever, is essentially they're just a felt wick with um, with a solution and pigment behind it. Well, a fabric playmat is just a great big wick. So it, um, it dries out the wick that you have while draining it of all of this stuff. Yeah, and well, it also sucks all of the, like we said, that pigment to the front, which then clogs it up, too. Yeah, because it's, it's pulling more um, of the um, solvent fluid than pigment. So, um, it works we've done this before. We've had a lot of experience, and what we've found is that those markers, uh, even the best markers will only last for a handful of mats, um, maybe a dozen. And it, when you have 4,000 people with mats, we just make it the policy of we did not bring a nine gallon drum of markers, so you're getting black sharp because ink is different than pigment. Well, and as Steve's art pimp, what I, to make, make Steve happy too, when it starts to get low, you have to basically go over each line two oh, yeah, or three that's, times. That's the other thing is, and it makes Steve super <laughs> grumpy pants. Yeah, if the signature doesn't look good, um, it has to be fixed and gone over, over, and over again. And while that's not a big deal, it's a big deal when you multiply it by a thousand people and there's a ton of people in line. Yeah, um, and Evan you're to just get put to out a great quick. reminder. Reminder: We got twenty minutes to turn in your your Scoodle and your Squam work. We're going to do it a little different tonight. We're going to review the Scoodles first because Tappy was able to contact um, um, Abby, who is with um, Wedge. And since the Scoodle tonight is a get well card for Wedge, um, we're going to do those ones first to surprise him at 9.15. And then we'll go do the, the Squam work review. Dan says he misses, misses watching the live alters. They are oh, yeah, fun we... and they are cool. Steve has changed how he does his alters, so we can't. It doesn't make any sense. It's we we could probably do them again. It's it's just um, at Vegas especially, we're really conscious of trying not to take any extra time that we we don't that's not necessary away from the people who are standing in line. Um, a lot of them have already been in line for uh, 45 minutes to an hour. They've got other stuff to do. And so while it is cool to have a, a live stream, um, we also have to babysit the live stream. Yeah. And we just kind of, we talked about it. It was like, 
Vegas is too chaotic. It's yeah. It's not that we're not doing it anymore ever or anything like that. It's that um, for for Vegas, it's just a big enough show that we didn't want to make people wait any longer than yeah. Than we we didn't want any more complications. Yeah, we're trying to keep things simple. So one of these days, Andy the, Eleven says he waited two hours in line for an altar, four hours uh, in total. Very worth it. Hey, <laughs> thank you. We, what we tell people for the altar is, is that we start signing people up at ten. They need to be there earlier than that. That is, yes, we don't. Yeah, you don't usually have to wait really in line once we get there. You had some fun ones too. Yes, Andy Eleven had some awesome ones. Again, you'll you guys. He will said be he's seeing... very thankful though. Awesome. You guys will be seeing these altars over the course of who knows how long. Um, I, I, if I, I don't want to like flood the internet. Uh, and if I posted one a day from Vegas, it would still be five months worth of. Killer of says stuff. that they got there at eight ten a.m. and was third in line for the altars. That's not bad. That's still a long time to wait, but third in line is. Yeah. It's not bad. Mo and, and Vegas is our craziest. Yeah. Um, there really is no show that it is as busy. Because even though we have shows that are um, bigger and a little more chaotic, they're not as focused. Gen Con's are our second biggest. Oh my gosh. Andy Eleven says... Honestly, he thinks that the greater uh, that the snail turned out better than the Gwen, <laughs> and he laughed. Why? Well, thank you. So he let Steve do artist choice, and he did this like fancy pants snail with a top hat. It was adorable. And Killer Gloves, the one that got a fin. Oh, yeah. Says it was one hundred percent worth it too. All of those were good altars. All of the altars are actually pretty great and fun. Mm -hmm. Well, like I was saying earlier on the stream, um, part of the reason I post them all the time, and I, I post, um, with rare exception, I post every single one that I do, is that um, I have they have to be good. I don't want to, I never want to shortchange anybody, and part of the looming, if, if the temptation ever rears itself, it's, really late in the day and I'm like I I'll, you know what minutes, this please. one um, I always have that little little backup of you're, I'm gonna post it if I don't do a good enough job then the whole world sees it it's what keeps me honest all right we like to give people our last uh, commercial break of the night uh, well maybe I guess we always do our summary one but uh, just to remind people um, tonight we actually have more of a serious uh, com sponsor, it's uh, please go. Um, one of our people from our magic uh, magic community and our sketch and scotch community needs our help. Um, Wedge has a GoFundMe to help with his medical expenses that happened at GP Vegas. Um, if you want to go get the link, it's um, in the thing I'm a bobber. The doodly doo. The doodly doo at the below. We're totally uh, still. There is a link to the. Google Doc, and in that Google Doc, we have the link over to Wedge's GoFundMe. So, number one, that's what our uh, tonight's um, spot or uh, commercial sponsor is. Is go go and go fund do the GoFundMe. The Google topic is a get well card for um, Wedge and. Don't forget to like and love and tell everybody about Sketch and Scotch. And we are now, mostly the chatting is going on in YouTube, not in Twitch, because it was having some problems. So if you want to come and chat, you can lurk other places. That's totally cool. We are streaming to Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Uh, if you want to be part of the conversation, we're on YouTube. It's um, go to youtube.com slash user slash steveargyle.com. The dot is spelled out, not the actual symbol. Um, and it has his live stream just in there.
And if our if our drink fairy happens to watch this, I love our drink fairy. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you so so much, and we owe you a special thank you. But I don't actually know how to get a hold of you. So, um, if you're a drink fairy, us. you know who you are. Yes, the drink fairy knows who he is. <laughs> uh, email me. Let me know yeah, how I can find you. Or, or how I can find you like gmail. before GP Shizuoka. Yes. That's, that's we expect a long way it away. will be at Shizuoka. So anyway. That's looking pretty boss there, Steve. Why thank you. Um that it's not the kind of thing that is going to be anywhere near finished. It's not an hour long thing, but I figure maybe I will take a little extra time, do something. So it won't be done during the stream or anything. And I mean, I guess maybe I can spontaneously stream it while I work on it later. Maybe we can do a uh, a playmat of it and do a a GoFundMe drive for Wedge. Maybe. We'll see. It's looking pretty cool for an hour's worth of work right now. And that that's part of why I, I chose kind of a generic angel kind of a motif is um, Pokemon would be cool. Something from Magic would be cool. But um, those are things that if I wanted to donate it to do a some kind of a fundraiser-y type thing, um, I would have to get special permissions and all that, and that's hard and um, not always possible. So, but if it's my creation and I just make something up, then that's easy. Kirk says, do you think you'll do more painting collaborations like you did with um, at Howard? I think it'd be awesome, yeah. yeah. I, well, I mean, actually I do, just like we do with Howard, um, where we're both painting the same model, we actually do that every week. Me and, um, so Howard has a portrait painting uh, session that he does in his studio on Wednesday nights and uh, unless something big like it, we're both in Vegas comes up um, I am there uh -huh. um, I know you're, you're talking more specifically like cosplay and characters and stuff like that um, we were talking a little bit earlier we might try to set it up at Gen Con yeah we actually have um, a local cosplayer uh, that, uh, if you guys remember about a year and a half ago when I was on the, uh, the TNT show, um, with Scott, with Scott, uh, we are going to see if we can talk her into coming, uh, in cosplay to a portrait, night. to a portrait night, but the Gen Con one, we probably use one of the Gen Con. Oh yeah, players. Gen Con shouldn't be hard to find somebody who wants to be painted. Um, well, we have a lot of cosplayer friends, so yeah, we lots. We'll just have to find out who's going to be at Gen Con. Oh, Janet brought something up, and it's kind of sure it's too bad we don't have the penthouse again. <laughs> That's a good point. That would be a fantastic place to do it. Penthouse was super cool. Maybe... Maybe we can get it again one of these years. The thing oh, about it, though, Steve, is that it wasn't enough Steve, to like keep a lot of Steve. people. Tappy as at Gen Con. Just saying. <laughs> Aha, I see. Well, oh, we, it seems we have a volunteer. I was going to say, I didn't know if Tappy was going to be there, so I didn't want to make her feel bad by asking. So, she just said that. <laughs> I'm at Gen Con. Just saying. So, I like this plan. I like I'm it excited too. to be a part of it. So now, yeah, we're bringing it all together. Oh, Kirk, because he lost everything this weekend, he realized 
his dice bag had special Pokemon coins in it that he got years and years ago. Vegas took them. Vegas, you jerk. <laughs> Tappy says she'll buy you a nice beverage. No, no, you bribe the model, not the other way around. Yeah, we, we bribe you. Though, uh, I think you have a way, way better knowledge and palate for a uh, beer than I, so maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe <laughs> after we can... <laughs> Tappy wrote, oh, then I demand a nicer beverage. <laughs> <laughs> that, we, we, that can be arranged to, to buy you a nicer beverage as our model. And then you said, you, but she has a better palate, and then she says, oh, she'll bring you a spotted cow. New Glarus from Wisconsin. Oh. Or New Glarus. Oh, wait, you've had New Glarus. Mm-hmm. And um, spotted cow. And spotted cow. You had those in Minnesota, didn't you? I don't remember where I've had them. I just remember. I remember that, that people specially brought you New Glarus and right. spotted cow. Right, because that was the thing there. They were like, these are yeah, the best beers yeah, ever, yeah. you need to have them. The beers you have to try are New Glarus and Spotted Cow, and you had both of them that weekend. Yeah. Also, there's always the um, the Sun King Brewery stuff they do specifically for Gen Con. Sometimes I like those because sometimes they have my dragon or something. Yeah, Astroxo said it's only sold in Wisconsin, it was GP Milwaukee. But yes, so everyone yep. kept telling you you had to try both of those. All right, we've got six minutes, Steve. Okay. Um, I guess as long as, as we're doing all this, I should, I know we haven't had any kind of teaching-y, lesson-y thing this time. Um, the backlighting on that But I, I do want to point out a little bit for, for artists who, uh, who want to learn some things, the approach that I'm taking to this. You'll notice that I did not spend much time at all on refining line work. Um, I'm not zooming in and doing any detail work. I'm not None of that stuff. Um, and the reason is, uh, if it looks good, small, and blurry, and sketchy, and, and, and that, it'll look good with detail, right? The other way around doesn't work. If the thumbnail doesn't work, there's no amount of detail and color and refinement that's going to make it fit. You know, there's that whole polish the turd thing. Mythbusters shows that you can, but in art, it doesn't, it doesn't work quite as well. Um, and the other is, if you stay at this sketchy state, you're not you're not really ever going to waste too much time if you make a major change of mind. Like, you saw that I did the, the background first. It's kind of to establish a palette and a feeling and get straight in my head where the light and the dark are going to be. But I didn't spend a lot of time fiddling with it, and I didn't detail it. Steve. Abby is on right now. Oh. Headphones on. Hi, Masters Abby. Masters of Magic is on. She's got headphones on. I think that's Abby. I'm assuming that's Abby getting ready. So they are ready to go. Excellent. All right. And Logan's on now. Oh, so everyone, uh, get your stuff into the um, Google Doc. Yes, yes, we'll do the squirrel mark. Um, and I will wrap up what I was talking about. So. Um, if I want to cover up these mountains or whatever, I haven't lost any time. If I decide I want these wings to be huge, then go all the way across the screen and cover up the, the background that I spent almost no time doing, I'm, I haven't lost anything. Now, if I had spent time to make it all pretty and perfect and exactly what I wanted, I wouldn't change it. I would, I would be too attached to what I'd already done. Uh, and that's when we, when we talk about killing your babies, you can't be afraid to, or murder your dar darlings, I've heard. Um, if something's going to work better, do it. And it's hard to let go sometimes of what you've already done. And that's why I work super, super loose and super sketchy, is I'm only going to lose two minutes um, of something I've done before, rather than detailing out the entire background and then deciding actually it'd work better with bigger wings or something like that, and losing all that work. Um, as it is, it's very, um, it's very elastic, it's very malleable, I can change things fast, uh, 
and I recommend trying trying to work this way at least a little bit. It's not always how you know. Sometimes you have a clear idea in your head, or you've done um, lots of thumbnail studies and stuff. Yeah, um, or or you have a drawing that's solid, and you know you're not going to change it. There's plenty of reasons not to work this way, but um, give it a try. It's very uh, free flowing, creative, fun. Um, you can you can do a lot and ex experiment fast, like. For her light, uh, if I I can play with light sources pretty quick and say, let's see, let's maybe what if it's kind of over here and what if it's a cool light next to that background? Is that too too cold? Um, and of course, in Photoshop, you can say, okay, well, what if I make it warmer? What if I make it lighter? What if I make it a black light? Uh, you can do the fiddling, but also you can straight up just decide you don't want it to be there. Maybe you just want a, a little Wonder kicker light seen. over here. And maybe yeah, another Steve, kicker here's here. Here's my question for Abby uh, that we want to tell Abby. Uh -huh. Do we want to go through all the sketch and scotchers, get well cards, and then put yours up at the end of it? Or do you want yours to start it off? Um, we can do mine at the end, I suppose. It's it's a long way from being done. I should have worked a little, little faster, but the intention on this is going to be maybe a little bit more finished piece later. Yeah, and we can talk on that. On there. Okay, so. So you still have the link up. <laughs> All right. So you're going to get the first one up. All right, we're doing Scoodles first or Squam work first? Scoodles, I think we're yeah? going to do the Scoodles first so that... All right, the first is by Dan. All right, so <laughs> if we can get Abby, we're ready, let us know. Headphones off. Hey, Wedge. We are all, we're all here at Sketch and Scotch. We missed you tonight. And so the scoodle tonight was get well cards for you. We're hoping you're healing nice. And so um, everyone drew get well cards for the scoodle for you. Um, so this first scoodle is from Dan. It says, the good news, we amputated the right appendage this time. Bad news, wrong patient. Get well soon, and it has a side duck. <laughs> doctor. It's a very sad doctor, side duck. Very stressed. Um, that is adorable. Next, we have... Monty. Monty wrote. That is beautiful. From M MTP. Heaven. Yeah. Your Monty MTP goes by. Oh. Is that is he holding a black lotus? He is. And riding yes. a giant. Is he riding that is a little adorable? A leviathan, some kind of sea monster. Yes, he's driving a giant. Well, because if you remember, he, well, I guess it was a dinosaur that he unveiled, but yes. So it's a monster holding a black lotus, riding a leviathan. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, he, yeah, he's riding the Nezhal, the one we were talking about that he opened mm -hmm. the dinosaur, the big blue dinosaur. So this one is all aimed at you. Super That's cool. adorable. I love the black lotus like up over his head. Woohoo! That's awesome. Thank you so much, Monty. All right, next is Astaroxo's Get Well card. Astaroxo! Whoop. I stretch it. The Get, Get Well, well lotus. lotus. Tap, sacrifice Get Well Lotus. Add three hugs of any type to make you feel better. Oh, 
helping. That is very sweet. In three little lotus, so you get three hugs. I'm going to make a get well lotus. I might tap that. <laughs> That's adorable, because Black cool. Lotus is kind of his symbol, so... That's so cute. Oh! Poison Stripes. This is Poison Stripes. Oh, I can get it the right size. I should just change my Photoshop settings when I hop into here, because you can tell it to just fill to the extents. Dan says don't hug too hard because of his back. That's a good, a good note. Good, hugs. good note. All right, here's the one from Poison Stripes. You got a Black Lotus. Oh, and it's Pokemon. It's, it's Wedge's Black Lotus too, and Wedge. And That's Wedge awesome. and the Pokemons. Nice. That That's is awesome. so cute. It is his Black Lotus. Did you use your sparkly? She used her special her um sparkly um, the gel pens. Yeah. Gel pens around for the edge too. Oh, that is that is super cool. That's so cute. Oh, and it's Electrode and a Volt Orb. Ah. One of my deep nerd shames is that I know almost nothing about Pokemon. All right. This one is from Taffy, isn't it? Uh-huh. I imagine, because you have to make the noise, Steve. <laughs> this is from Taffy. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can make a Raptor Screech. <laughs> <laughs> Raptor Screech, love to wedge. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> Evan was funny. Evan pointed out that uh, Poisons was a, a wedge a lop. It's a lop a lop wedge. <laughs> I like that. It yeah, totally it was, was a wedge a lop, totally and that's adorable. Very witty, both of you. And it combines all the things it's, wedge it's, and sketch and scotch and magic and Pokemon. You're covering all the bases. Yeah, Poison was all over it. Taffy says my 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 screech was perfect. <laughs> Next we have Panda. Panda has a Pokemon feel better with Party Mouse. Pokemon and Party Mouse. Party Mouse always with his awesome signs. It says feel better wedge. That's adorable. Pokemon should or uh Pikachu should probably also avoid the hugging because of lightning. Oh gosh, yes. Pikachu hugs are dangerous. Dangerous. Oh, who's that one from? This is from McJohn Art. That's adorable. Here comes McJohn Art. McJohn Art. That's <laughs> <laughs> an under the weather Pokeball. Oh, I'm getting that soon. Oh, that is very, very cool. That's so cute. And so sad, but so cute. I like it. And then Steve... I like the border. I know it's weird, but I like the, the sort of angular stroke border. Yeah, I, I love the line. Bold and powerful. And then Steve, you're going to show yours? Uh-huh, mine's not finished. I was working kind of slow, but... Uh, I am working on this to get well angel. With this is your get well. This is your angel. Yeah. Wedge. He's making you an angel. And work in progress. Work in progress and you will continue to work on it. We're hoping to maybe be able to do some sort of um, something with it. Yeah, maybe maybe a play mat drive or something. Yeah. To Try and get a little bit more... Uh, a little more funding for things. You can finish up that and, and we can sell play mats. It's, it's sick, he loves it. Awesome, awesome. And so those were all of the scoodles. We were all thinking of you. Um, here goes everyone in the chat. Feel mm -hmm. better. We heart you so much. And Abby, thank you for setting this up. And Tappy, thank you for, for being maniacal genius, geniuses <laughs> behind the scenes and setting this up for us, guys. 
we, we miss you on Sketch and Scotch. We hope to see you on here more, and we all we all are giving you our best thoughts. And uh, we'll let you know when Steve, if Steve will keep arting on this, and we'll let you know what we decide and how we want to do stuff with it. So, yeah. We, uh, we really appreciate everything that you do. And how awesome you are for the community, so we feel like the community should give back. Because you're an awesome person in the community. So, there we go. Mm -hmm. All right, now we did the school work first, because we, or the scoodle first, because we wanted to surprise Wedge. So now we got to go back and review the squirm mm -hmm. work. Now we're doing squirm work. The squirm work was continuing on with a piece of art that you've done um, for Sketch and Scotch previously. Mm -hmm. um, we're revisiting some of it because we we uh, hit our two year uh, just before going to Vegas. We've been doing Sketch and Scotch for two years. So uh, the squirm work was to go back to an old old scoodle and uh, and revisit, rework, do something with the new skills you have acquired by watching me stumble through a stream for an hour a week. This is Dan's, and this is his original scoodle. <laughs> I remember this, a Pokemon. Yeah. Trying to get Toothless to go into a Pokeball. Oh, and um, for anybody who's joining us late, um, we've got the link to the GoFundMe page. Oh, yes. Uh, in... La the last thing on that, um, Wedge, a, a paragon of the magic community, has had some unfortunate um, medical instances that have occurred, and so we're trying to do a GoFundMe for Wedge. Uh, they, they put together GoFundMe. We're just helping push that forward. Uh, we have a link to the GoFundMe. If you look in the doodly do below this, there's a link to the GDoc, and in there there's a there's a link to the GoFundMe. And this is the updated version. <laughs> Color and fire. I really like that, like the graphic treatment on that fire in the background. I really like that a lot. Mm -hmm, the stylized fire. Yeah, Toothless is looking looking really good. Pokemon going to get yourself incinerated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't mess with Toothless. Uh, so one thing to uh, to think about doing. I know we we're not we're not really doing a a, a critique episode, but. Um, one thing that would tie Toothless into the background a little bit more is to use the lightest values of the primary light source, which would be the fire, as the lightest values on Toothless. So like the yellow highlights on Toothless's, is Toothless's scales? Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be a big thing. It's just um, if he has... Oops, I grabbed the wrong card. Um, if he has a little bit of the same colors, because he's getting backlight um, from the fire, right? The uh, This rim light is more or less from... Oh, oh, I know why it's giving me weird colors, because I didn't turn off my thing. Color dynamics off. Uh, we've talked about, about that little cheat trick before. I won't get into it again, but um, just a little bit of that same background color will help make him feel more like he is integrated with that background. Nice. See what I'm saying? Just a, yep. just a little bit of that yellow in that room light and, and now he a little bit more into the fire. Anyways. And then uh, Danny goes said tangent. might even put a bit of the colored glint in his eyes. Uh-huh. Absolutely. And the Pokeball would get the same thing, too. Mm-hmm. That McJohn pointed that out. But, yeah. Okay. 
Leave it for them to do. Okay, so <laughs> we should do a a, a critique paint over episode again yeah. again at some point. Yeah, um, I imagine some of you at least would be interested in that. It's been it's been probably a year since we've done that. At least oh, um, Steve's out of bed. Where's my thing? Um, where are we? Ask the Roxo. <laughs> oh, hey. This isn't the squam work. This is the altar. The horse with hands. <laughs> I thought this one was really fun. Um, because you guys are always in person trolling and hazing me. I got my t-shirt for no horses and Asterox so wanted an altar of a horse. So this is the horse from Guernica. Mm-hmm. Yes, those of you with uh, snobby art history backgrounds and such will recognize that this is the Guernica horse. And then it's the Guernica style Murd fingers, because mm -hmm. he asked for a horse with hands, and then Steve signed it as Picasso Dolly. Mm-hmm. And where are we now? Poison stripes. Oh, she took the one from from just uh, a yeah, just a couple of, uh, weeks ago. Mm -hmm. These gel pens are super cool. Yeah, she gets some awesome highlighting with it. Yeah, he looks like he's having a good time. Roosterita. What's a roosterita? He's a, he was a, it's a chupacabra. Oh, right. It's actual rooster blood. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Looks delicious. So yeah, and she had fun. She always has fun with her little gel pens to put highlights in. It's awesome. Next up is Mac John Art. Oh wow! Oh, and he took his mermaid. Yeah. Mac John's uh, done some serious, serious coloring. I really like the the fins, the double fins. Yeah, I like that. Uh, a little bit of a different take on on the mermaid bottom, and uh, yeah, I, I like how you've used relative color everywhere to keep everything looking underwater. And yeah, the hair also like the water movement to the hair too. Yeah, really swirly and floaty and weightless and and very nice. Same with all the fins. I like the background too. Very nice. Nicely done. Yeah. I like the continuation. Thank you. Here's one by Panda. All right. It's a party. Oh, McJohn says, do you have a good workflow for hair, by the way, with his, um, with his murder hair? Yeah. Um, underwater hair is, is trickier, but I do have a couple of um, quick tips for hair. That looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's, it's looking really good. Um, I have... Um, I built a a hairbrush that I use a lot. Um, where did I put it? Weaving strands. Um, and this, if you look close, um, it's just a handful of dots, right? You murdered her. <laughs> she's, she's all stabbing now. Oh. Just a handful of dots. Um, but I've set it up to uh, the angle jitter fades. What that means is that over a period of however many pixels you set, it will rotate the angle. Uh, 
And that's pretty much the only thing I did to this. It does have the usual like um, pen pressure for opacity kind of thing. But the effect is that it, it spins as you, as you draw. And that helps you get um, little strandy bits quick. And because they rotate, they don't uh, they don't look like just your like a rake that you're dragging across it. They they move in and out of each other. Uh, this is usually like the very last thing that I'll do is these little weavy strand things because mostly when I approach hair, I'm thinking of them as big shapes and the the little strandy bits is just to break up those big shapes and make it look a little bit more like um like it does have individual hairs and uh this this brush is super easy to make uh like i say the profile of it is it's just a couple of dots and then set it to set it to fade and it'll rotate like that um and then you can adjust yours to taste if you want um, more dots or less dots. I think I have some that are um, thinner. This one's kind of gritty, which I use for the same purpose, but in paintings that have more texture, they look like they're on a more on a canvas, just so that they don't stand out as digital. That's something to keep in mind. Um, anyways, yeah. Um, Yes, back to pandas. She she has the original date and then upgraded date. It's her panda law with all the party mice. Party mises? Party moosen. Miss Misselia. Miss Miscellany Menouses. Mises. Miscellaneous Mises. That's adorable, Panda. I love your updated panda law. All right, is that our last I like one? It. Um, Dan had another one that he did. Cool. Nice. Good coloring. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, Wedge and Abby are taking off. They said, thank you for inviting us. Time to go, though. Thanks lots of love. X, 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 X. We heart you. Feel I better. You guys. Yeah, feel better. We'll be, we'll be watching and yep. hoping you get to feel better super, super fast. Take care. Um, and uh, we're going to go, too, because we are all, I think we're all done. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. Dad said that was a redo of an old one, too. So, um, yeah. Thanks for coming tonight, guys. Um, we just, oh, you I need to tell them what your swimmer for next week is right. while you're thinking on that. Just our last uh, break to tell people, don't forget, art makes life better. Always keep arting. Um, even if you don't share it with anyone. But, uh... Try, try to just art, and it makes everything better. Tomorrow we get to do our portrait painting with Drew Baker and Howard Lyon. We are super excited. Um, don't forget to go and donate to Wedge's um, GoFundMe. Um, we will actually get it in the thingamabobber duber thingy below, and so you don't have to link to the GDoc to link to it. We'll add it in there. Um, and don't forget to be awesome. Steve, what is our squirm work? Thinking. What about what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? Killiglas says, and again, thanks so much for Vegas. Totally made the event 100, 100 times better. Right back at you guys. You guys made Vegas awesome and so much fun. Um, you're the reason we keep doing this stuff.
All right, your squirm work theme is what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, guys. <laughs> Dan says, unless you're Panda, then it's broadcast on Sketch and <laughs> Indeed. Let's see, what should we do for the art focus? Lights. Color. Yeah. Color. We kind of did some of that this episode, and that is what Vegas is all about. Light and color. Yeah. Andy Eleven says hey to everyone and thanks for seeing him and hanging out and so yeah. It was awesome to hang out with everybody. Okay. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Light and color. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Uh, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, Tuesdays. We'll see you guys again. Bye-bye. Heart, everyone.